Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ramp Studio Comics. Welcome back. So today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to do a split screen in Manga Studio. And better than that, I'm going to show you how to turn one of those screens into a flip screen of that split screen. Uh, almost a tongue twister there. And then basically, it allows you to kind of draw through your work quicker, I think. Uh, it's great for digital painting. I think it's great for drawing, and I'll show you why real quick here. So how you do this, and this had boggled my mind for a while, but I finally figured it out. And I want to I want to mention that because a lot of times we get so caught up in our work that we don't step back uh, and learn new things. And with programs and digital art, it's very important that you make time for this uh, because there's especially with a program like uh, Clip Studio Paint or Manga Studio here, there's so much to it that you really do have to make time to to delve into new aspects of it so that you can take full advantage of it. So let me let me get to it. So if we go to Window. Uh, so essentially, I've already created a new window, so let me start from a very beginning aspect. New window, let's do a 5 by 8 at 300. Uh, also keep in mind for sketching, it's better to start off with a smaller canvas size, I think. Uh, so a lot of times people will talk to me about how their brushes are working and maybe not being responsive. And just so you know, uh, for your basic sketching, start small, then blow it up if you have to for detail. Uh, just another quick tip there. but. Anyway, we got a new canvas window, and we want to make a backup of this. So we're going to go window, canvas, new window. So now what it basically just did is it took this window and copied the exact same window. Uh, so a lot of times somebody might think, well, that just made you a, a new window at the same specs. That's how uh, something like Photoshop would do it. Uh, but actually it didn't. So if we drag this over, keep in mind that you can drag windows almost anywhere in uh, Clip Studio Paint. So you can you can drag them all over the place and you can sandwich them together, you can stack them. Really great for reference and things like that. Um, one, of the, one of the main reasons that I like a program like this versus, uh, you know, I love things like Sketchbook Pro and that, but they don't give you split screen options. And if you need reference once in a while, this is imperative. Uh, so, okay, so now we've got our screen over here. Now you'll notice if I draw here, it appears over there. So it's a duplicate of the existing window, which is great, but we can take it a step further. Uh, something else that you could do is you could scale this window any size and it's not gonna affect this window. So that's highly powerful right there. We can take it even a step further and we can flip it right here. And now watch what happens. It flips the uh, artwork for us. Now that's important. I mean, especially, like I said, digital painting or, or drawing, uh, when you have a tough time, say, I'll just sketch out a quick face. It's not going to be all refined because I don't want this video to get too awfully long. But one of the, the beauties of something like this is that you can spot errors a lot quicker now. So a lot of times you have to flip the screen back and forth as you're working. I find myself doing that more and more as I create. And now with this, you don't have to. So let me just get something in quickly enough to where I can start spotting the flaws. So as I start to get you know, some of my uh, alignment going and things like that, I'm able to look over here and remember you can scale this any size you need to, whatever you're comfortable with. I like to keep it a bit smaller uh, because I, I feel like I spot certain flaws from a distance. So now what it does is eliminates the fact of you having to flip the screen, also eliminates the fact of you having to zoom out all the time to check your work. So highly powerful feature and uh, it's just one of the many things that this program does uh, fantastically well, but uh, that's something I wanted to make sure that I that I showed to you. So let me hurry up and get something in here where I can hopefully pinpoint what I'm talking about here. I'll just get some blocked in features of a face. Forgive my crude sketch because I'm trying to draw fast here. So usually right about this part where I get the eyes in, I'll start noticing uh, flaws in my symmetry or alignment always in the eyebrows. I don't know why it's always tough to get eyebrows placed exactly the way that I want So now if I if I zoom in a little bit further because I think that the zoomed out portion will help me more as I as I detail the work like for instance uh, as you're working on a full-on collage or a Huge composition this being zoomed out is highly important and that's where digital painters will really excel with this So let's soft erase this back and put in a a little bit more hard lines and so the the neat thing is I'm able to just look back and forth and and kind of see you know see it as it unfolds uh, which I think again is just really important I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of this feature quite a bit uh, especially because I had, I had wanted to be using it for so long and I just had a tough time 
figuring it out. Um, I ultimately found it on a, a forum, um, which I probably should spend more time on forums anyways, but uh, so that was uh, that was pretty helpful. Uh, and if I could remember the person that commented, I'd write that in there, but I, I, I don't actually. Um, so yeah, so hopefully this feature will really help you. So as you start to draw this in, and this is the other neat thing, you can still come right over here and you can make adjustments on this side as well. So it's not just that you have to work in the one window, it's it's purely a duplicate of it, uh, an interactive duplicate of it, which is just, I don't know, I just think it's really a cool concept. And I haven't seen this in any other program. Uh, you know, there's a lot of programs where you can make duplicates of the windows and things like that, but none were so versatile where you can flip the images uh, up and down, left and right with all these icons over here. Um, you can rotate just just the one screen if you want for whatever reason. So there's just a lot of neat opportunities there to uh, kind of facilitate your work. So I won't let this get any uh, longer. Let me see if I can, uh, again, help you with the idea. All right, so the brows. I always get the brows off. It just ticks me off. So I just kind of keep redrawing them until I get them right. But I always make like one a little bit too long and the angle different on the other. Even Even the eyes, you can see I still have to refine them because... This one's drooped down further. This one's straight across. Uh, if I had to spot anything over here, it's it's really showing me the eyebrows are off, which I don't know why I don't see it over here, but I don't as much. So it's it's just making those changes back and forth uh, until you get them kind of tweaked and placed in the right uh, direction and shape and all that jazz. Yeah, something like that. What's wrong with that? I like to get the shadows on the side of the eyes in pretty early on. Uh, the nose could probably come forward a little bit, but you know, hopefully that shows you enough. Like I said, this isn't going to be one on me drawing a face as much as uh, just showing you those split screens. Um, I've got lots of other videos on the channel here for how to draw faces, and I'll be doing more, um, you know, real soon. Uh, I have to keep some of these videos short right now because I'm I'm busy on some projects. So just so you know, because I like to do some of the longer videos for you guys when I can. Uh, guys and gals, but I basically, you know, have to uh, migrate it in or, or mix it in with the work that I'm doing. So uh, that's, that's if you ever see me uh, do the quicker videos, that's the reason. All right, and keep in mind that you can follow me on Patreon and my Gumroad and uh, support the work that I do here. Hopefully this has been beneficial to you. I suggest you try it out and just see how it works with your own uh, style of artwork and, and maybe it works for you. I'm sure it'll help in some way. Uh, and then let me know in the comments section below what you think about it. And everybody can kind of talk back and forth and share and compare notes, which is always fun. So thanks very much for tuning in and watching. Uh, have a great day and good luck with the art. I will talk to you soon.